The moment you've all been waiting for is here. It is time to code the arrive steering behavior. In truth, if I were going in order, I've done seek, flee, pursue, and evade, I should probably look at wander next. But I'm going to do arrival because it's really connected to how seek works, and then I'll come back and look at wander after that. I'm building off my previous code where flee is just a variation on seek where the resulting steering force, its direction is reversed, multiplied by negative one. Pursue also makes use of seek, but instead of pursuing the actual location of the target, it predicts a future location. And then evade being the same as pursuit, but with also multiplying its direction by negative one. So what do I do with arrive? The goal of the arrive behavior is for it to slow down and stop at the target. So it's just like seek, it's arriving at a static target, but instead of scurrying past the target, it will somehow know to slow down and stop. We have to remember that everything boils down to what is the desired velocity. So let's back up and look at the simplest case again of just seek. I can't believe how many times I've drawn this diagram. The desired velocity for the seek behavior is a vector that points from the vehicle to the target with a length of maximum speed. That length is always maximum speed no matter the distance from the target. So if this vehicle were here, its desired velocity would still be, I mean that's much longer, but would still be the same length as this, and it would cause it to shoot past the target. An arrival behavior is one where the magnitude of the desired velocity is proportional to the distance to the target. Maybe we define some kind of threshold. Beyond that threshold, its desired velocity is always at maximum speed. Once it is inside that threshold, its desired velocity gets shorter, and shorter and shorter to that when it's at the target, the magnitude of its desired velocity is zero. That's the definition of arrival. Once I've arrived, I don't want to go anywhere ever again. So that's the idea conceptually. How do I implement that in code? There's almost certainly some sort of clever way I can reuse the seek function inside the arrive function or add some arguments to seek. But just to understand and work out the algorithm, I'm going to copy paste everything within seek and put it within arrive. I will switch then from calling seek to arrive. And if I run it, there we go. This is the exact same behavior because it's the exact same seeking code inside of arrive. What do I need to change? A parameter that I'll want to define is this threshold distance within which the vehicle should slow down. And I'm going to call that uh, r just for now. What's that radius of this circle around the target itself? Let's arbitrarily pick 100 right now. What's the current distance between the vehicle and the target itself? Guess what? I've got that in the magnitude of this force calculation, which is target minus position. What if just for a moment I say, if the distance is within that radius, multiply that force by zero. Otherwise, set that force's magnitude to maximum speed. Let's see what happens when I do this. It's stopping, but it's not stopping at the target. It's stopping awkwardly in a weird location. It's because I, what I've said essentially is, vehicle, go as fast as possible, fast as possible, fast as possible. And then once you hit this threshold, stop, stop, whatever you're doing, stop. But I don't want it to stop. I want it to keep going toward the target, but a little bit less than maximum speed, then a little bit less, then a little bit less. I want to map its magnitude from maximum speed down to zero. In other words, let m equal map the distance, which is in a range between zero and r. When the distance is zero, the magnitude should also be zero. It should stop at the center. And when the distance is at r, its magnitude should be the maximum speed. Let's see how this goes. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> I need to change this to set bag to M. Now watch this. Notice how it's going past 
and then it's able to like turn around and come back and stop. So this just has to do with the fine tuning of the system. I'm allowing it to go at a very high speed and then only giving it a certain uh, maximum strength of its steering force. So if I tune those a little bit differently, like set the maximum speed back down to six and give it like a little bit more maximum force, you'll see it's able to slow down more effectively and always arrive at the target. Now we've got arrive. I think it would be worth though me taking an extra couple minutes at the end of this video to just kind of clean up this code and refactor it a little bit. I don't like the fact that I'm using single character variable names, R, D, M. It's not super helpful in understanding what's going on. So let's fix those. I'm gonna call this R slow radius the radius within which it should slow down. I'll write out the word distance for D. And I'll call this desired speed. So I've certainly made this more long-winded in terms of the number of characters I have to type and the amount of horizontal space of the code, but I think it's a bit more clear now. But I want to do more. I, there's got to be a way that I can make use of the fact that I'm already doing most of this algorithm in the seek function. And the only thing I'm changing here is how the magnitude of the desired velocity is calculated. I would love to hear from you how you would approach this. I'm gonna add an extra argument to the seek function. I'll call it arrival. And I'm gonna grab this entire bit of code here and put it into seek and say, let desired speed equal this dot max speed. Then, if arrival, I will do all of this stuff and set desired speed to the mapped distance and then always set it to desired speed. And I need one more curly bracket. And the default, I don't really have to say this because if I don't include that argument, it would default to false, but I could also say arrival equals false to sort of indicate that the default value of arrival would be false. So always start with a vector that points from the position to the target with a desired speed of maximum speed. However, if we're doing arrival, consider the possibility of reducing that desired speed based on the distance threshold itself. Now, I believe the arrive function could just be return this.seek the target with true. I don't love that it's not entirely clear just from reading the code itself what true would do, but I'll add a comment here to address that and maybe think about improving it in the future. Let's see if this still works. It should be exactly the same as what I had before. Wonderful. I now have a vehicle that has built into it evade, pursue, arrive, flee, and seek with everything really coming from the sort of base function of seek itself. Whew, okay, so what's next? Well, I'm just going down this list <laughs> and the next video I'm gonna look at wander. It's a bit of an oddity, but I think could be quite useful in certain scenarios where you want to have a lot of agents moving around a canvas in a chaotic and somewhat random manner, but not just be kind of going crazy. So uh, I'll, I'll put up, this is what Wander looks like, but I'll be doing it in the next video.